one of uh, of the favorites for the day whether he's the outright favorite i don't know yet um you know the power he showed the the, the foresight as well to get up there at the pointy end first time of asking on this very narrow track he showed what he's got in his legs didn't he then and i think he's going to show again well, he definitely looked comfortable going up mm. it. Um, the, the slight worry for me is that, that Movistar is spending so many in it, so many riders here now, um, at, already at this stage, uh, driving the pace on and not actually, um, you know, are they going to have enough riders to get Quintana into the bottom of that climb in the best possible way? We're going to find out 7.7 .7 kilometers from home. 27 seconds now is the gap from Vuestra. And here's the movement going on. Who's that from Katusha just making his way up on the right hand side? I think this is, you're going to get the principals coming to the fore, watching each other rather than looking out for protection from their teammates. What do you reckon? Yeah, definitely. We, uh, we certainly have uh, Danny Moreno and uh, Rodriguez in there from, uh, from Katusha. Gilbert looking good and Chavez looking good there as well um, from. Uh, BMC. BMC. Uh, there is Movistar on the right-hand side of the road and uh, almost a dismissive look over, like, uh, this is our game, why are you bullying us? 35 what? seconds, it stretches out from Liu Vestra. There he is. Well, he's getting his time-trialling head on at the moment. Uh, not quite uh, form that you'd expect, um, but then again, he's been extraordinarily busy today. He's been a great breakaway rider. Big blow of the cheeks as well. Louis Armstrong styly i don't know what tune is going on in his head but uh, everybody else for the time being is dancing to it with 6.9 to go 39 seconds that's a good gap you know it is a good gap definitely but the pace has kind of been knocked out of the front group a bit here um with with movistar not really letting katusha come in and help them and i think that's a that's a bit of a mistake right now um I think yeah. there's a bit of arguing going on here, essentially, albeit silently. Uh, Movistar, not really. Th they've got other days to play on, don't forget. I think that they may be regretting um, being lent on, and they're showing their displeasure right now, because the pace is coming out of this. 38 to go. 38 seconds, I should say, is the gap. 6.5 to go. Yeah, definitely. Um... I'm, I'm not sure that they're, they're playing the right move here. It'd be interesting to see how, um how the other teams now are deciding what to do because uh, with 40 seconds you know the time the gap is, is uh, going out all the time it is are Vestra there... is going to have a motorcycle camera that's going to clear the way for him uh, these guys won't be so lucky unless security have really changed their pace i don't know what they're saying to him out there but right now they'll be saying to him one thing you've got 43 seconds um <sighs> This is a ramp, we remind you. It's not flat, uh, not quite as flat as it looks. It's been a long old day for him today. It's 170.7 kilometers, a lot of it climbing, and he's out of the saddle on what looks like a reasonably benign push right now. He's going to make a turn, then the road gets very sinuous. He gets packed with fans. The atmosphere will be amazing. Let's hope it stays clean. And let's just wonder, shall we, and speculate as to whether he's actually going to get caught. Somebody's going to break out from the pack. I wouldn't be surprised to see someone like Philip Gilbert say, to hell with this, I'm off. Uh, but knowing that he's got some super pace late on, and maybe, maybe the GC guys will start looking at each other. Sky getting involved now. Well, start getting up to the front and just uh, trying to keep uh, uh, Henao and uh, Nieve out of, uh, out of trouble and, and keeping them in a position where they can effectively launch them into the bottom of that steep climb. But... Um, 5.1 kilometers to go. We have effectively started the lower slopes of, uh, of the final climb of the day, which uh, crests at three kilometers from the finish. So uh, they haven't got an awful lot of time to play on here now. And uh, 41 seconds, uh, it's time to uh, open the throttle a bit. The man up the road is now entering the climb. In two kilometers time or so, he's going to just take the crest of it. And then he'll have the easiest job of coming down the rather narrow descent. It widens out late on. It may be a heartbreaking catch later, but Lou Vester could be in for a big one today. And such scalps he's going to take if these guys don't start working together. And to my mind, Movistar don't look too motivated to push on. Um, Sky, we remind you, uh, they're just starting to uh, show themselves in their dark blue or black outfits. Uh, Michael Nieve lost time on stage one um, and now though however is got a pretty good sprint on him suffered from uh, knee problems um, maybe he's recovered from that they certainly got some belief and sky are up here but again they're not taking on the driving duties they're not pushing to try and close this gap it's 37 seconds now to Liu Vestra I'm getting nervous on his behalf and everybody else's but uh, maybe because I just don't know how this is gonna pan out well, I think we'll find out quite quickly here over the next uh, couple of hundred meters as, as to how Vesta is going. Um, it is starting to ramp up a bit now, and, and uh, that's going to be the telling factor. If he can hold the pace, if he can turn the gear over on these uh, slightly lower gradient um, part of the climb. 
He doesn't look happy. I don't think that's a smile. Maybe his team is saying, we can see you. Uh, you're on TV. Give us a smile. But I think it's possibly a grimace. 35 seconds and the pace has suddenly changed. And guess who's involved? Lamprey uh, have an option today. Former world champion Rui Costa is in the pack. There's plenty of others, though, around him who are perhaps on this day more capable. 31 seconds. The, the clock is still ticking back uh, rather quickly. I'm wondering whether the transponder's uh, at issue here. It's reset itself at 31 seconds with four to go. The top of the last climb is in one kilometre's time. So, he's in the middle of the Antigua right now, our breakaway rider, and these guys are looking at each other. Well, they certainly are, but uh, the, the pressure's been set here now by uh, David Lopez on the, on the front for Team Sky with uh, um, all of his riders in the, on, on the wheel. And Kiriank is there. He's yeah. just coming into position for his battering ram duty. He's the kind of guy you want to send up the road. He can make himself very, very wide and t maybe take out some fans and make a bit of space. Um, Phil Gilbert is uh, bouncing away. Is he going to be dancing at the end? Well, that's a big question, but he's certainly moving up in the peloton here now, so he's, uh, he's keen on making sure that he's taking this turn right near the front. I think he's minded to make a launch and then uh, uh, descend as we know, very, very quickly. They go, they're within sight, 13 seconds. Yeah. That 30 seconds was a lie. We did wonder about the transponder well, and the it's... clock. There we are, Liu Vestra, brave man, about to be caught. So it's a whole flotilla of talent that is about to take on this test. And frankly, there are so many potential winners, depending on how this pans out. They're all going to have to race into that very, very narrow course. And Sky look like they want to boss this. Well, they certainly do. And uh, as, we, as we came to understand on the first, first time up this climb, you need to be right, right on the front for that section of, of the climb. And uh, that's why Team Sky are now putting the pressure on. But um, Movistar is still responding there, sitting pretty much next to them. And uh, with Quintana on the wheel, he's wow. only got Yonis Aguirre with him now, though. Restra heads to the wall for a bit of uh, rest after what has been an amazing push today. What about Etik's quick step? Well, Michael Kwiatkowski is here and he's got men around him. I think Spielak is actually still with him. 3.4 kilometers to go. They're going to go over the nose and then all hell's going to break loose. And guess what? Kirienka, the battering ram, is being sent up basically to put the fear of God into the crowd, I think. <laughs> One look at his face and uh, he, he has this um, almost the visage of an assassin about him. He's very happy to sacrifice himself for the team, and they do a, he does an amazing job for them. It's, uh, I, I, almost, I, I think I say chapeau to him for, for uh, more often than not, for those who are super domestiques. He does an amazing job. Uh, Movistar is just weaving their way in. They're trying no, to Quintana, tee up Quintana. Quintana yeah, exactly. he's, he's on the front now. Quintana has gone, uh, gone to the front to uh, uh, make sure that he's... Well, he might actually be on third wheel. I think he is third wheel. Yeah, it was true. It's a gear that was leading him yeah. in. Uh, Quintana then comes to the fore. Rodriguez is right next to him. They're, they're, they're going to try and boss this right now. Uh, Kirienka is sending his way into town. This is where it suddenly kicks up. The camera angle can't show it right now, but it's a proper climb right now. And here we are. Time to set your stall out. Enjoy the ride, if you can. Well, it's uh, definitely going to be an interesting uh, climb here. When, is, when are we going to see the first attack here? Is, is Aguirre going to go first? Well, Scarponi wants to have some fun, and he's thinking about it, and he's looking into eyes. There yeah. we are. Check out who's around you. Scarponi in the Astana blue. What's he got? Well, he's going to have to have an awful lot if he's going to stop um, Movistar and their idea of delivering Quintana on this day. He's wheel number three at the moment, Quintana. He's right next to Rodriguez. They're playing with us. Yeah, they're playing with us, but the pace has really been driven quite high, and I think that might actually be... Um, um, Kwiatkowski's just behind him, Quintana, and the, the rainbow jersey to the fore. There's Rodriguez, a lot at play, a lot at stake. Paul Camolimo, is he still in the frame here uh, for Trek Factory Racing? Three kilometers to go. In fact, uh, that's got to be wrong because yeah, there's the, wrong. the peak still to happen at 3K from the line. Movistar are really, really bossing this one right Rodriguez now. They have been for much. There in third he wheel. is terrific. Rodriguez is uh, in where he needs to be, and now is also getting involved for Team Sky. 2.9 to go, it says. The, uh, the ticker is wrong, I'm afraid. They're coming to a virtual standstill, though. We do know this. When they get over the top, there's three to go. That's the correct reader. So ignore the graphics just for the time being. It's a brave man who takes on a slope such as this, and there's uh, very few braver out there than the man that you're watching on your screen right now. Quintana is happy to lead, and he's happy to lead Rodriguez. And now he's right there as well for Team Sky. There is Kwiatkowski with the rainbow jersey on display of the world champion, and Quintana's first into the lion's den right now. 
and the fans need to give them a little bit of space to show us what they can do. They're going to go over the top. They're then going to be on the descent, and descending is something that both Rodriguez and Quintana and Inau can do very well indeed. The advantage for Rodriguez is that he's got more firepower, and now's the kick. Oh, and they've decided that this game and is going. one to be played by Inau. He's kicked off. Rodriguez tries to respond to Quintana, not just for the time being. They're near the top. They have done a good job security-wise of asking everybody to get out of the way and allow us to witness this. And the motorcycle is getting in the way itself now as he punches through the crowd. Terrific riding. Great space being offered by the crowd, thank goodness. And now it's going to be on the descent and the attack to the line. Well, still, we've still got some way to go to the top here before uh, before the descent, and uh, and now still doing all the driving on the front. He's got Rodriguez, he's got uh, got Quintana. As uh, Kwiatkowski managed to follow that, can't quite make him out. Kwiatkowski is in there. We'll get the heli shot for you in just a few moments' time as it spins round and tries to give us a bit of vision. It's a trio up front. It's been led by Enao just for now there's the bike coming through and the cameras are, are, are lost and so are the riders they're wrestling they're wrestling the road they're wrestling each other and unfortunately they're wrestling the crowd who want to take pictures as a keepsake well keep it for yourselves for goodness sake there is Kwiatkowski for now he now is leading Rodriguez and Quintana down this mountain finally they join that descent what a race we've got here yeah Micah was in there as well and uh, I think that was uh, Sammy Sanchez for uh, for BMC who was right up near the front Philip Gilbert just coming over the top. Philip Gilbert has got to be one of the favourites if this comes together a little bit further down the line. He's got a real punchy pace on him at the very last 27 seconds. These guys, as Kirienka grinds it over, at least I guess nobody's off the bike just for the time being. Move your cameras. We've got one here and we're trying to see, for goodness sake. Impressive riding by, uh, by Tony Martin who just gone over the top there as well. He's uh, really looking strong. Well, Tony Martin could grind out these three kilometres good and proper. We'd love this crowd to just get out of our way and allow I'd us like to see what's going on. Yeah, me there. too. They're on the descent, for goodness sake. We've seen the pain. We've seen the crowd. Let's see who's going to win this race. Well, we cry out as uh, to no avail, I'm afraid. Uh, we're, at the, uh, uh, we're at the mercy of our local producers. But here we go. Finally, we are back. And this is the descent, uh, not the most technical part. They're away from that now. And it is this trio of talent. Out of these three, if they were to go all the way, how do you think it's going to pan out? Who's got this? Well, I, uh, I w I'm actually going to put my uh, my money on Henao on, on this particular one. I know if Rodriguez is fast and he's uh, he's uh, well, he, he knows how to win from uh, smaller groups like this. But Henao certainly looked very very good going up that climb. Well, it possibly is going to need Quintana to uh, be a very, very brave in this kind of situation. If they play cat and mouse, I don't think that's going to suit him. Um, explosive on the flat, not necessarily. He's a great time trialist and a fantastic when it comes to the mountains. And it's now that kicks off for Sky. He's gone. Uh, looks over and sees Quintana. Rodriguez is there and just waiting, waiting, waiting to impose himself. It's going to be about this trio with 1,500 meters to go. The crowd did have an option. Somebody is going to have to be lit up like a rocket behind them. They can't look back, frankly, and wait to see where Queer and the rainbow jersey is they've got to do their own race if they play cat and mouse they will lose it 1.2 kilometers only and here it is it's a lot of zigzagging to the line as you've seen first time of asking and they are looking at each other as they approach the Fram Rouge and now steps out of the saddle he's possibly got more power has he well it's anybody's guess I think Rodriguez has got this one and he's going to start jeeing uh, himself up with about 300 to go uh, here we are well, Rodriguez was in the best position, but he's now gone around and take the turn. He's clearly realized there's a few riders coming behind them and trying to chase them down. So right now, actually, Hanau is sitting in the perfect wheel, I think, yeah, to, to, uh, to make the sprint. Uh, it was Rodriguez. He took a glance and he saw that Kwiatkowski's on their case. Uh, there's bigger mountains. Uh, there's bigger mountains uh, for Quintana to impose himself. And they're weaving. Uh, security guy just getting it in the way and just making sure that they take the right leg uh, out, of, out of this uh, uh, underpass that they're just going to go under and stay out of the saddle now and it's Quintana that joins him uh, getting that corner very very wrong indeed Rodriguez he wasn't trying to back out of that it was a slight error on the turn and Rodriguez is playing catch up just for the time being but he's in P3 as they approach the line Rodriguez picks it up he takes uh, the wind right now shows his face to the finish line there's some talent behind them with 150 meters to go it's lost for them I'm afraid it's about these guys and now coming to the line and here comes Rodriguez Quintana's on his tail Rodriguez has won here before and he's won again oh Brilliant work by Rodriguez. Rodriguez takes it ahead of her now. Then comes Quintana and crossing the line. It's uh, it's minor positions for those who follow on. The crowd did have an impact, but what a great finish from the wily old dog that was Rodriguez. He has won again. He's done the feat. He's repeated the feat in some style here.
on stage three of the Tour of the Basque Country. What a day that turned out to be. Some enormous gaps out there by the end.